And on that story first, let's go across uh, to our correspondent Aisha Khanam now joining us uh, from Bengaluru. Aisha, the chief minister had convened an emergency cabinet meeting after which he had also spoken with the media saying that, of course, the government will comply with the Supreme Court's directive and also coming down harsh on those trying to vitiate the atmosphere in the state and indulging in any form of violence. Uh, yes, absolutely, you're right, Nancy. The Chief Minister has now reiterated that he will take forward uh, this uh, Kaveri water battle uh, legally, and he mm -hmm. has decided to release water as per the Supreme Court order. Yes. Uh, so, henceforth, the water, water will continue to flow to Tamil Nadu, and uh, over uh, 1 lakh 68 cusecs of water will flow to Tamil Nadu till September 28th. So, this is the uh, only option that the Karnataka government has uh, before it, although the government uh, has not taken any has not made any political move over this mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there seem to have been some discontent and uh, some uh, disagreement over the over this decision uh, in the cabinet because some of the uh, uh, colleagues of uh, Sidra Maya have demanded that uh, he should resign because he has failed to uh, protect the interests of the farmers and okay. uh, and some of them have also offered to resign if they uh, if uh, that helps the farmers of uh, Mandya and uh, Mysore uh, districts. Uh, so now this uh, uh, this uh, Kaveri battle will uh, be fought in Supreme Court and the water will continue to flow uh, to Tamil Nadu. On the other hand, Sidramaya faces a huge challenge mm -hmm. uh, of uh, controlling the law and order in the state after what uh, we saw yesterday in yes. Bangalore, a huge amount of arson and uh, violence and uh, over one crore losses uh, uh, have been reported from the transport department alone. So uh, the Chief Minister has said that he will take steps uh, to make sure that law and order is maintained and there is peace and harmony in the state and especially in Bangalore City. Right. Uh, also, Aisha, what are we hearing as far as the next step uh, from the state government going to be legally speaking? What legal options are they now mulling? Uh, well, Nancy, the Chief Minister uh, has clearly stated that he will uh, release water to Tamil Nadu as per uh, the Supreme Court order. That means uh, 12,000 cusecs of water after the modified order that has come in. Mm. So 12,000 cusecs of water will flow till September 20th. Mm. So after September 20th, they will uh, stop uh, uh, the flow of the water and then uh, they will once again uh, wait uh, for the SLP that is coming up okay. uh, on October 18th. This mm -hmm. SLP is very important because this was filed uh, earlier a few years ago and mm -hmm. this is likely to come with an order uh, uh, order because this SLP was uh, filed uh, challenging the tribunal order wherein okay. the permanent uh, share of water released uh, to Tamil Nadu will be decided. So Sidramaya has decided to opt for wait and watch situation and all the other uh, legal uh, framework will be adopted after the uh, 18th uh, SLP interim order comes in. All right, Aisha Khanam, thanks very much for joining us for the moment and sharing those details with us. So the Karnataka government, the chief minister there uh, speaks saying that uh, they will abide, they will comply with the order of the top court. Uh, that they have to release 12,000 cusics of water every day till the 20th of September. Of course, a special leave petition is going to be coming up on the 18th of October. Till then, the government is going to be watching, waiting and watching. And of course, yesterday, the Supreme Court had come down heavily on the state government uh, for their approach, their attitude towards the Kaveri River water issue. All right, moving.